We're asking the questions you're asking about the deadly line of storms in western Kentucky. According to Google Trends, one of the top questions is what does the EF mean for tornadoes? And for this question, we thought it might be best to bring in our expert. TG, what can you tell us about this? Well, the uh, EF scale is the enhanced Fujita scale, and that's a scale by which, uh, based on the damage, that's how the estimated winds of the uh, tornado is measured. Now, this was first developed uh, back in 1971. Dr. Ted Fujita, professor at the University of Chicago, came up with the original F scale. It was implemented by the National Weather Service in 1973. And ironically, the first big event that the F scale was used on was the super outbreak in 1974, which of course ironically was our deadliest Kentucky tornado outbreak until this past Saturday, Friday night into Saturday. Now, in the early 2000s, meteorologists and structural engineers got together uh, to try to improve the accuracy of determining the wind speeds in these tornadoes. So they developed 28 damage indicators based on the type of building, mobile home, a uh, home with siding, a brick building, a strip mall, a large mall, a restaurant, you name it, transmission towers, and even trees, hardwood and softwood. And they developed that between 2000 and 2004, thus the enhanced Fujita scale, and that was put into, uh, that was put into uh, use, I guess, on February 1st, 20, uh, 2007, that is. And on the EF scale here, again, the one in Paducah and Dawson Springs was on the high end of the EF4. And even though people did the right thing, uh, sadly, uh, many times when you have a tornado that strong and that close to an EF5, uh, if you're not underground, a lot of times you don't have very much of a chance. So, again, really, really tragic situation out in western Kentucky. It's definitely scary. And TG, another question. People are looking up, how far did this tornado travel? Well, that is still to be determined for the entire track, but we do have an official length here in Kentucky. It was 163.6 miles uh, in the Commonwealth, and that is a state record. It, that went from uh, the community of Casey, which is in far, far Western Kentucky and Fulton County, and of course we were tracking it up through, uh, of course, uh, Mayfield, Dawson Springs, and then it just snuck into our far western part of our viewing area around McDaniels there, uh, around Rough River, and uh, that's where it finally lifted, uh, but that's right on the Breckenridge and Grayson County line, but there are still storm surveys that have yet to be done by other National Weather Service offices in those other three states. And once we see that, it could be anywhere between 220 to maybe even 270, and the record is 219 miles, the tri-state tornado, 1925, southeast Missouri, southern Illinois, and southwest Indiana.